What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video we're going to be talking about Renderer 2. Um, previously was just called Regular Renderer, now it's called Renderer 2, but the theory is very similar to Element Ref. In fact, I would really recommend you watch the Element Ref video, not just saying that ju just to try to get another click, but the Element Ref video is going to tie in a lot to this, but you could still watch it anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but we're basically going to do the same thing that we do in Element Ref. We're going to grab the template variable off the um, HTML page, use ViewChild to get the data back. But instead of using Element Ref, what we are going to do is we're going to bring in Renderer through dependency injection and create a div element. And that is the big versus between Element Ref and um, render to element ref is somewhat dangerous. It could be vulnerable to cross site scripting. This is an angular beginner course. So if you need to use element ref in a personal project that you're trying to show to employers, that's one thing. But if you are working on something production, I would probably use render to, and the diff main difference is that render to you actually have to create the element you can't actually just start working into the javascript with um native element you can just literally reach into the javascript and do whatever you want to and that's what makes render to safe and why people usually recommend it for production but i'm just going to go in here and we're going to code up a very simple version of this and i've already got my Pokemon TH up here and what I'm going to do is just build out or first I got to bring in actually I, got, I actually have to bring in render so I got to go up here and we're just going to call it good old render and render render 2 and just remember it's it used to be regular render now it's render 2 so after that we need to go into our ng after view init because you can't do any of this on ng init because it's too early and it won't actually trigger. So make sure you're in ng after view init, <clears throat> excuse me. Then just use regular old render, um, a pin child, and put, we're going to put in first this div. We actually have to, I forgot, we actually, we actually have to go in and create our div. So let's go, go up here. Remember, we gotta create our div. So we go up here, this dot render dot create. I'm going to go create element and we're just going to create a div. It's not going to do it for us. We have, we have to actually pass in this through render. So next I'm going to go down here. We're going to actually add the text. So we're going to cr create some text. So here and is equal to this dot render dot create text. And we're going to put Pokemon list just up here just to add it to the bottom of it and then down here is where we can add the actual text so we're gonna go here then we're gonna go down let me see here don't know what happened there okay so back down here then this dot render dot append child then we're going to pass in this is where it gets a little bit more involved. So this is where it gets different. It already is different, but this is where it gets kind of a little strange. So what we're going to go in here and do is we're going to pass in this native element. So it needs that native element to append onto. Otherwise, there's nothing for it to kind of hang on to. So we should be good to go. So let's go in here and let's take a look. And if you look under our Pokemon name, we now have a Pokemon list doesn't really make sense, but I hope that just illustrates the point. Just a simple example that you guys can have in order to do what you got to do with it. Okay. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching.